Hello, today we are looking at te technological developments that will affect our food choice. And by the end of today, we will be able to explain how functional foods and UHT foods can have an impact on consumer food choice. So starting off with functional foods. Here are a list of four functional foods. And the definition of a functional food is that it is a natural or processed food that has a health promoting benefit and may have a positive effect upon health. They are often an additional benefit over and above their basic nutritional value. So we're just going to go through the four of these to tell about each of their functions and benefits to our health. So starting off with a probiotic, you might have seen these uh, on adverts, especially for Activia, Actimel and Yakult yogurts. And in the adverts, they will refer to them as having good bacteria as they're associated with having a healthy digestive system. So it helps encourage bowel movements. Probiotics contain large numbers of different strains of live bacteria and other microorganisms such as yeast and these can help improve irritable bowel syndrome, constipation and diarrhoea. They can also help boost the immune system due to having the good bacteria inside. And then we've got a prebiotic. Prebiotic foods contain carbohydrates that the body can't break down naturally in the digestive system. So these help boost the immune system and can help to maintain a healthy digestive system, again, by encouraging bowel movements. Prebiotics assist good bacteria that are already present in the gut by feeding them. And these occur naturally in foods like leeks, onions, and uh, we usually see them in fortified into breakfast cereals like all brand Kellogg's. Then we have got omega-3 enriched foods. So omega-3 is an essential fatty acid that we can only obtain in our diet. Our bodies can't make this. So food manufacturers can add it to products like cereal bars, yogurts and eggs. And the reason for doing that is because it's an unsat polyunsaturated fat, but it's got really good risk of reducing coronary heart disease and strokes in our diets. Omega-3 enriched foods are found naturally in plant and animal sources like green leafy vegetables, walnuts, rapeseed oil and oily fish. However, these are things that we tend to not eat a lot of, and especially in the UK. So, hence why, because they've got such good health benefits, manufacturers have added it into their products like cereal bars, yogurts and eggs. Omega-3 also ensures babies' brains develop while mum is pregnant. And omega-3 enriched foods can ease pain associated with arthritis. And then we've got plant sterols and stan oils. These occur naturally in small amounts in some foods like grains, vegetables, fruit, nuts and seeds. And they are clinically proven to reduce the LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, reducing the risk of heart disease. Manufacturers add these into popular food products like Benicol and Flora, proactive sprays. Again, this is done via fortification, so these products are fortified. Moving on to UHG, which stands for Ultra Heat Treated Foods. This is where, and this diagram below will show us this, this is where our products have been heated to a really high temperature, cooled down really fast in order to reduce bacteria multiplication and kill bacteria, making our products have a longer shelf life so that we don't waste money. So here is the process. 
This is a sterilisation process where the food is heated to 140 degrees Celsius for a few seconds, which kills all bacteria present, then rapidly cooled down and sealed in an airtight container. The quicker this process is done, the less likely bacteria would have to be multiplying. This can be used for milk and fruit juices, allowing them to be kept at room temperature for months. There has been a huge sale in UHT products since the start of the pandemic. And one reason for that is that UHT products don't need to be refrigerated before they're opened. So they're good for storing in a cupboard or even out in the garage. So people stocked up on these things like UHT milk in case they ran out or couldn't get out. They have a longer shelf life than normal, so it reduces the need for shopping trips. They can also be bought in bulk and stored, so it can be useful for people who live in remote areas and again can be used in an emergency. People believe that they are um, less at risk of having food poison from UHG products because bacteria are killed, so it is more safe. Heating to high temperatures can affect the flavour, which can be off-putting. Some people can tell the difference. I think that if you put the UHG milk into a fridge and then tried them both side by side, there wouldn't be that much of a difference. I think it's the thought of having milk in the cupboard that does put some people off. And that is our PowerPoint. So we are now able to explain how functional foods and UHG foods can have an impact on our consumer food choice.